is simply go down and save settings. All right, that's all you got to do. And that'll take care of that for you. You might want to sell a bunch of stuff out of there. That I don't know. That's that's your thing. Uh, if you're a Cafe Clan member, I recommend just stay away from this for right now. We're doing some other things. We'll take care of some stuff here. All right. Feed sheet. Obviously, part of Cafe World is you need to master each dish. This is where you can set that up to auto mastery, and uh, you could you could set a default dish if you wanted or whatever this is where you're gonna do that I'm not gonna get into that right now because again as the clan we don't utilize this uh, that isn't our issue our issue is finishing missions in less or approximately a day in most cases uh, and as you'll see here in a little bit some of our missions uh, that were three-day missions we finished in in an hour uh, which is just amazing to me how how our clan really does this all right so let's go down to our next tab it's collections collections all we need to do is go through and click uh, enable collections enable auto trade-in enable auto wish list and click save uh, now because of my recording software this is going to happen uh, I'll just simply uh, refresh here real quick. Give me a second. Once we've en enabled everything there, we click Save, and it automatically will load what parts we need. Uh, you don't need to worry about trade-in down here because you've already enabled up at the top. You've enabled auto trade-in. So it's going to do it for you. It'll automatically grab all the parts you need. It'll take care of that for you. Uh, your wish list is there. Everything's there. The next button down is the chat button. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one. I'll explain it to you, uh, to you know how to, so you know how to use it. But that's about as far as I'm going to go with that. All you need to do is put in a nickname here and click join. That will take you to the Cafe World Bot chat. So if you want to chat, chit chat with. Uh, admins and moderators that might be on at that uh, or members that might be on at that particular time that's where you can do it please try to refrain from putting too much uh, request for tech, uh, technical assistance in the chat because if you put it on the form and somebody else has the same problem that you have then we're killing two, bo two birds with one stone we're not we're not uh, repeating over and over and over the same thing if you put it on the forum in the help section uh, the problem you're having it may answer everybody else's problem too so uh, let's try to keep from putting technical support issues in here okay this is just kind of a chit chat thing buddy buddy thing all that stuff so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to my left arrow and I'm gonna move everything over a little bit so we can get to it the next tab is catering catering shows uh, all the catering missions it shows all your nice little uh, three stars on everything you did how long it took you how many times you had to do it to get it to finish it and so forth uh, and this is where I was talking about the clan before the crazy cooks cafe clan look at this one here here's a graduation party that just came out uh, I have three stars on it uh, and it took me one hour 12 minutes and 14 seconds to completely finish that three-day mission and this shows how many times it took you in order to get three stars over here uh, that's that's a benefit of a clan that's the benefit of a clan we get uh, one shot and we got three stars on every mission uh, some of these here where you see like two days those were missions I did prior to starting this clan all right and I still was able to do this so uh, good friends and I understand I uh, Facebook you can ask for help and you don't get it so we won't even go into that in this video 
All right, next one down after the catering is Cafe Info. You can change your theme here, your background, all that good stuff. This is basic information about your clan. It tells you what size cafe you have, that how many stoves you have, how many counters you have, how many employees you have. It's just all the data on your particular cafe. Next tab down is your beverage. Awesome plug-in here, you guys. Uh, all you need to do to get this set up is go ahead and click Enable Coffee, Enable Auto Master, Enable Drinks, and Enable uh, Auto Master on that one also. And as you can see, when I click on the Enable Drinks and, and uh, Auto Master Drinks, I can't. They won't. They won't say for me. There's a reason for that. Uh, if we go over here to Drink Bar. I've mastered every single drink bar, so it, it, it's not going to let me. But if we look at coffee, for instance, uh, I still need to complete two of them down here at the bottom, the last two. Uh, so it'll allow me to enable that. Once I've enabled it, click uh, Save. Next time I start the bot, these energies that I have will be used to uh, to master my coffee. All right, pretty simple stuff there, right? Let's move on down then. Help. The help plugin is is help on the bot there. Uh, we'll skip that one then. We're going to go to settings. Now, here's some important stuff here. Now, in multi-dish I changed one of my stoves to Angel Fruit Cake. If I was going to do that, then I can't use these right here. All right. But let's say I wanted all of my stoves to cook barbecue chicken, including my 50%. All I would need to do is simply click the down arrow, set them all to barbecue chicken right there. And then on deep fryer, I would set it to, uh, I think we did onion rings. I'd set it to onion rings. Then I would make sure these top three buttons are clicked and click save. But I want to use multi-dish, as I said, because I got that angel food. So I'm going to click right here where it says use, multi, uh, use dishes in multi-dish. Make sure serve all re uh, ready dishes is checked. And then click save. All right, now that makes multi-dish run. That was that last step I was talking about. That's what makes it run. You have to check it. Now it's saved. Now, what a lot of people miss when using the bot, go down on this page. Look down here. All right, now we got all our spices down there. Well, I don't want to get rid of any of my instants, my one hours or six hours, because I like using those to finish up a mission. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll say, all right, if I accidentally had something spoiled, I'll use those. And my 5%, my 10%, I'm going to use those up and just get rid of them. I might have, prior to this uh, plug-in coming in, I at one point, I on my 10%, I had like 300 in there. Uh, and I really don't want to do that. It's hard to do in cafe and click on each stove 300 times. All right, so for each di uh, for each selected spice, max dishes to spice per cycle. It's set to five. I like using 100. I just get rid of the damn things. And then click non-stop spicing, and then click save settings. So those are all going to go away the next time we run our bot. All right, so that's done. It's saved. Now we got to go back and fix what we did when we first started that that 30 that I had or at least I thought I had in here you can set that back to 30 if you wish I like using 100 seconds per uh, or seconds cycle interview and I like using 3600 you can use what you want to use this is just what I like to use all right once I've done that I'll click save setting and then I'll go back to my main thing now look at what we got going on here it is now visiting my neighbors 54 of 155 it, it's not really doing anything because I've done this already today 
So, but it's still visiting my neighbors. All right. Now let's say I needed to actually cook. I could actually go back to visit neighbors, uncheck everything, and click save again. It wouldn't, and then refresh or restart the bot, and it wouldn't actually visit neighbors. It'd go to be cooking, for instance, or doing my beverage for me, or whatever. And then I can change these settings. I can turn them on, turn them off, turn them on, turn them off. I can do what I need to do there. All right. Well. With that said, I think you have a basic understanding of how to do a clean install and how to at least get yourself started with the bot. Uh, with that said, uh, I will add, uh, again, if you need to get the Cafe World bot, you can do that by simply going to www.cwbot.cafeclan.org. Uh, be sure to donate to the site. I, I beg you to make sure you do that uh, so we can keep this free. If you are wanting to join the clan, you can easily do that too. That website is www.cafeclan.org. Uh, once you get to our home page, uh, all you need to do, as you, as you can see here, you're at the home page make sure you read the main page and understand how we work and what our rules are then all you need to do is simply click on the clan forum and it gives you instructions on how to join the clan on that page to get to that page it's simply www.cafeclan.org that's all you need to remember uh, I hope you better understand how to use the bot, how to do a clean install, how to join the forums, uh, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you, and have a great day.